You know, yeah, to start conference play, it seems like two years ago, but early February at WT to play them, you know, the first weekend, um, you know, you know, it was a tough weekend. I thought the girls responded since then really well. Um, with the schedule that we had, we feel like we've played maybe every game on the road. I know that's not true, but it seems like it. So to handle that start, um, to handle our road schedule like they have, and to play as well as we have down the stretch, it's something we're really proud of. And and I feel like we, you know we've grown a lot as a team and and uh, have improved a lot, and and the new players have grown in their roles. And so I'm excited and really proud of them to be able to claim a share of the division title. Coach. Your team has been so good, not just in the last few years, but over the course of the program, over, throughout postseason play. It seems like your team always finds its stride when it matters most. What do you think goes into that, and what about your process and the way your program operates allows your team to perform when it matters most at the end of the season? Gosh, you know, I think back, you just, I think, you know, a tradition, um, I, I think that's something that our program takes pride in. And, and references on and the players that are still around when the alumni are back. I think that that importance of, of playing well and being successful in the postseason matters. And then I think all the credit goes to the players. We just honored our seniors the other day at Senior Day. And, uh, you know, what, what makes our program great is, is our players. And I think um, just them feeling that responsibility and they're driven people. I mean, we, we, we seek and recruit people that are driven, that want to be here for these games, that that success slash expectations of playing here are, are what they want. And so just, you know, I think tradition and, and a great group of players that are driven and, and want to leave their mark on the program. Any casual observer of the Lone Star Conference this year would look at the standings and see you and West Texas A&M alone at the top and think, well, it's just kind of a two-horse race this weekend, but it has been anything but that this year. Seems like maybe more year than – this year, more than any other year, other teams have been able to jump up and, and bite the top of the pack, if you will. Talk a little bit about 10-team single elimination tournament, can't drop a game, just the mentality going into uh, this event this weekend in Canyon. First time you're taking um, taking on this conference tournament, not at your home ballpark. So just talk a little bit about the tournament format and what you expect from your team. Absolutely. I think the Lone Star Conference softball has never been stronger. Uh, and you can just, like I said, look across – uh, the record of us and WT and, and both, you know, been in dog fights and lost some games along the way here and there. I think anyone's capable of, and now you get in this tournament and you're, uh, you know, it's the best of the Lone Star. And I think it's the best division two softball in, in the country. Um, I, I think every weekend in this conference teaches you that. And, and some of the battles that we've been in um, reminds you of that. Uh, everyone here is very capable and so you got to be playing your best and, you know, going on the road and, and playing at WT, um, maybe to be, we can just kind of show up and play our games and, you know, we know how much work goes into hosting. So, um, you know, we're, we're excited for that. We're excited for the opportunity. We're appreciative of the opportunity and we know the challenge um, that awaits us, but we're excited for that challenge. That's why we've, we've worked so hard all years for this opportunity.